What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Shout out to my client, Trey, um, top producing insurance agent um, in Utah, in the state of Utah, just crushing it, you guys, killing it, taking his business to social media and really building a huge brand and audience um, out there in the state of Utah. So shout out to Trey. Today, I'm going to be walking him through, you guys, um, two important steps. These are the very two basic steps that 99% of people, business owners, those of you that are trying to run ads online, specifically Facebook um, and Instagram, 99% of people that I speak to don't complete these two important steps. And then they wonder why they don't capture leads from their advertising. We're going to be walking, I'm going to be walking them through holding his hand, Trey, click this, Trey, click this, click that. I'm going to be literally taking them from A to Z on how to create Facebook custom audiences and also your Facebook custom conversion. You ever wonder why you guys, when you're online, you're looking at different random things, you click, you leave that website, and then all of a sudden you see an ad from that company. All that is, is simply tracking with a custom audience. They're, you're either being tracked, worried they're being tracked, watching people's videos or clicking on people's websites. And today I'm going to be taking Trey um, through these important steps, basic steps on how to track his audience as he starts to run ads, as he puts out video, as he puts out landing pages and sales funnels. You want to be able to track the engagement. As people click, you want to be able to you want to be able to track that visit. As people opt in to your landing page and they land on your confirmation page, you want to be able to track that visit. You want to be able to, cu to customize and really organize the people that are going through your funnels um, or and or watching your videos. So as you put out videos, you guys, on Facebook, as you put out videos on Instagram, today I'm going to be showing you a powerful, powerful step on how to track it all. And the importance of tracking it all is so... You, when, you, when you're out there running future ads, you can retarget these people. So if I watch your previous video, but I didn't click on your ad or purchase your product or maybe opt in, show me another video. Show me another ad. Retarget me. Let me know that you're, that you're, that you're engaging as well. It's all done through Facebook custom audiences, you guys. So take notes. Make sure you save this video, share this video, comment below the video. Let me know what kind of business you're building and let me know how I can bring value to what you're doing online. So Facebook custom audiences and your Facebook custom conversion, which I'll explain what the custom conversion is, but that's for those of you that are capturing leads and or making sales. You got to set up your Facebook conversion. And again, this is what 99% of people miss um, when I speak to them on all this stuff. So you guys enjoy today's training. You're going to get a lot out of it. And again, make sure you're subscribed, subscribe to your boy's channel. I'm putting out videos, you guys on Facebook advertising, landing pages, capturing leads, making sales on the internet. So if you enjoy today's training, you're going to enjoy the rest of the videos. So make sure you're subscribed and give your boy a thumbs up. So if this video makes any sense at all, give me a like. All right, guys. So let me get Trey um, and then we'll go from there. Okay, awesome. So now, bro, what we're going to do is go ahead and, and hit your profile picture in the top right and just get out of your business admin um, setting and just go back to your personal profile. So whenever I'm navigating through the business manager, the ad platform, I'm always in my personal profile logged in on, on this end. So from here, you can either go to your bookmarks or you can hit that home button at the top. But the bookmarks, so moving forward, bro, Everything is around the seven bookmarks. So these Perfect. seven bookmarks from this point on, Facebook ads, scaling Facebook ads, scaling Instagram ads, everything is around these seven. So what we're going to do is we're going to, and you know what, before we even go into the, we're going to do two things today. These are the two most important basic steps that hold everyone back from capturing leads and, and really tracking it all. And, and we're going to cover those two things today, which is your custom audiences and your custom conversion. So um, let's start with the custom audiences. Let's let's go custom audiences um, and this, this here, bro, this, what I, you know, pretty much been touching on the whole time on, on our last call as well, is this what it's all about, dude. So next time you come in here, there needs to be a shitload of audiences and, and there's really only watch hit the, hit the blue button. Let me, let me show you these audiences real quick. Custom audiences. So right below, these are, these are your data points, right? These are all the sources, what Facebook calls it. These are the sources that you can create, that you can create custom audiences around. However, Damn near 100% of the time, bro. Actually, you know what? In your case, you're actually, okay, so shit, it, it kind of changes it up a little bit where in your case, you're actually targeting the entire country. Now, what I, what I do recommend though, what I do recommend 
is in the beginning, maybe just focusing on your state. Um, when you go broad, you got to spend more, obviously. You got to spend more um, when, you, when you're trying to target the entire country. But starting out, I always like – there's a couple of things I like people to do in the very, very beginning. And, and one of them is to start with one damn offer, right? Many people that I speak to, they have they have five different services. Even, even you guys. You guys have multiple services and all this other shit you guys can offer. But when it comes to this advertising side, it's good to focus on one. So that's one product, one funnel, and a lot of times even one state. Um, many, many times even one city, right? So I just recommend rather than rather than going out at, at the whole country in the beginning, and and and, and even if you do at, go after the whole country, and here's another thing. Let's say you do you do go after the country, and let's say that's been your your strategy on on advertising for for a while. I'm willing to bet without even knowing your numbers. I I just I just happen to to also know the numbers. I'm willing to bet that when you look at the entire country, you only have a handful of states, maybe even one or two, where the majority of your clients are even coming from. So it's not like it's coming there. You're not you don't have a client in every single state. Majority of your clients are probably coming from from I don't know from from a handful of states, if anything, which are right. probably the five that you mentioned in the beginning, right? Or five or six or whatever it was. Um, so a, lot of, a lot of my business personally is ran around like, so I have this weird thing. I don't know why, but I never have had any luck with selling in states that I've lived in. Mm -hmm. So I've sold in like I've lived in Wyoming, Utah, Colorado, basically. So I sell, I, I primarily will target like Idaho, Montana, North Dakota, mm -hmm. and then I jump over to Eastern states and I really target Kentucky Tennessee, Virginia, North Carolina, West Virginia, South Carolina, mm -hmm. Ohio, and states like that. Then I do some like Minnesota, Wisconsin, and Michigan as well. So like okay. I can't say the whole country, but about I, I'd say about 10 states is like my my target audience for everything. Okay. Okay. So then again, going specific, niching down is, is kind of ideal. It's kind of what's what's recommended once you really start spending money. Like like focus in on on a, and again whatever whatever product may be giving you the biggest margin right out of your five services there's only one that pays you the most and or and or there's only one that you sell the most so focusing on on that one service or product and then and then focusing on maybe that one state in the beginning bro and then after you start capturing leads after as as you start to close clients then branch out now organic and as you guys just post on social media. Yeah, that's going to be speaking to everybody, but your advertising dollar should be super focused. But 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 I say all that to say this: ninety nine percent of the time, there's only two sources that you'll be you'll be building custom audiences around, and that's website and video. Um, in your case, because you are kind of more nationwide or more statewide, then creating an audience around your Instagram account and creating your audience creating audiences around your Facebook page. That could be that could be good. That could be good as well um, in the future later on. But typically, I'm speaking to 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 business owners that are focused on one city or maybe maybe even one state, and they may, they might have a popping ass Instagram account. Let's say their Instagram Instagram account is freaking popping and they got thousands of freaking followers, but they're a local business owner, right? For real estate agent, real estate agent, for example, a real estate agent that's really only serv serving San Diego. We'll have an Instagram account with 27,000 followers, but the majority of those people don't live in San Diego. The majority of those people won't even live in California. Right. Right. They're just thousands of people that follow them on Instagram because they got a cool account. Maybe maybe they got things popping and, and they look good and whatever, and, and they got a huge following. But when that person, when that business owner goes and creates a custom audience around their Instagram account, all custom audiences are, bro, are buckets. You're just filling up these buckets of people. Whether whether you're a, you're in the bucket of my website, you clicked on my website, now you're in that bucket. You watched my previous video for 15, 20, 30 seconds, you're in my video bucket. Right. Your Instagram, you're in that Instagram bucket. But if the majority of those people don't live in my state, I don't want an Instagram bucket. Because if I run ads to that Instagram bucket, the majority of people don't even live in my area. Right? So so that's why I kind of I Instagram and Facebook, it, it's kind of up in the air. I don't want, like in this case, for example, perfect example. If we create a custom audience around your Facebook page, the majority, actually all those freaking likes that are coming in, right? Those thousands of people that are going to end up liking your page. They don't even live in the area. So if I create a bucket around face, my Facebook page and start running ads to people who follow my Facebook page, none of these people are going to give a damn. 
right? Because they're just not in the area the way we actually are running the, the like ad right now. Right. So so that that applies for Instagram as well, man. I'm just willing to bet the majority of people don't live in the area. So spending money in the future to target those two specific audiences are, are really a waste, Instagram and Facebook. Um, so right now, right now, all, all you really want to focus on is, is website and video. And, and this is how basic it is, bro. So that's why as, con as a consumer, as you're online clicking on shit, let's say you go to a website, you're looking at some freaking nice clothes, you're, you're clicking on that black shirt, you're looking for your size, you click next, you go and put in your credit card, but for whatever reason, you back out and you X out and you don't purchase after all. And then you come on a social media and you see an ad from that company. That's all this is, bro. All they did under website or video, if it was a video that you saw, but typically it's website because you're on their website, you're, you're clicking through. All they did was set up a, a custom audience around their website. They know exactly what color shirt you freaking clicked on. Right. You clicked on that black one, shit, bro. They're going to freaking turn. They're going to name their website audience. Those who clicked on our black collar shirt. Super specific, super simple. It's freaking, it blows my mind how crazy simple this stuff is and how right. we're being tracked on all this stuff. And it's really right here. This is where we're being, how, how everyone's tracking. And, 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 and that's why Facebook continues to be King Kong in the, in the social media advertising space because of this basic setup. They allow you to put a pixel piece of code on your website. They allow you to take the link and set it up as an audience so you can categorize these people and then just show them your next ad. Right. And so this is where the magic is, bro. So so website and video. So let's go to open up, open up a, um, another tab. Let's go back to go high level to high level. And let me look at your links. All we need. Do you have your do you have these links customized? Like as far as like your own domain, like is your domain in there? Or are you on the default um, link? I have I have this like all built out and everything. But so pull up, pull up your landing page and pull up your confirmation page so if i were to go to your landing page opt in fill out the survey or whatever it is and then i land on the confirmation page those are the two pages we, we really want and that's why i tell i tell my clients all the time I, I just speak on this all the time where it's like dude all anyone needs in 2024 when it comes to social media or even internet marketing is two damn pages like we don't need a full-blown website anymore we need two freaking pages the landing page and the confirmation page you know, and then it, and then in between you have a survey or whatever it may be in between, but really those two pages need to be tracked for sure. So, okay, perfect. So you do have the link at the top. Awesome. And then that link, yeah, pull up, pull up the, and then the thank you one, that link, we, um, we, we integrated it with Facebook, right? We have that domain integrated, right? Yeah. The APX Xenio. Yeah, we we who's your host? Who who, are you, who where'd you get the domain from? Bluehost. Yeah, we did that last time, right? We freaking we 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 verified the name. Go back to your business settings, the ads manager, <clears throat> the custom audiences. Yeah, just click on yeah, X out of this part, click on the three lines to the left, and then just go to business, business, business settings. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we already did this, but it won't hurt to double check. But business settings, all we want to do is just make sure that this domain is actually verified. So to the left, click on brand safety and then um <clears throat> and then domains. Okay, so it's not it's not verified. It's not verified. Okay, cool. So we need to verify it. So all we're going to do is we're going to open up another tab and let's go to Bluehost. And this is somewhat of a of a newer update. Um, I would say maybe 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 about a year, if if that. Where in the past, anybody can run a Facebook or Instagram ad to any to any link, right? To any website, any link. As long as you're affiliated with that website, um, then then you can run an ad to it. But today, that domain actually has to be yours, and 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 to prove it, Facebook requires this step this step right here. So, okay, so domains, okay, so where is the um the other domain? The one that you have for 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 go high level. Where's that domain at? I'm getting rid of all of this. Anything that says vivid financial is all gone. I'm getting rid of everything that says vivid financial on it. Okay. Okay, so then the only domain that I'm going to have is the AP Exignal, this one. The APX agencies. Okay, perfect. So so 
right now then let's let's integrate let's integrate this one but what you're gonna work what you're gonna have to do which which might just hold us back a little bit um is you're gonna have to just you're you're gonna obviously have to change out your your links on on high level right so that won't be vivid dash financial anymore yep so that'll be that'll be yeah that'll be a whole that'll be the other the agency one now mm -hmm. okay but but at least get let's let, let's at least get this one verified so <clears throat> so we have it right here so now let's come down to and all these domain registrars is what they're is what they're called. Whether it's GoDaddy, whether it's Bluehost, whether it's Google, whether it's Namecheap, they're all pretty much the same. All you're looking to do is go into the settings, and we want to go into the DNS. So if we can if we can find the DNS settings, um, um where's the DNS? DNS DNS. Maybe the DNS records. Yeah, the DNS records. Yeah, that's what we want. So maybe yeah, right there, manage. Perfect. I've never been in Bluehost. But they're they're pretty much all the same. Perfect. Okay, cool. This is all we need right here. Awesome. Okay, so now let's go back to Facebook. So let's let's go back to the business settings to the left. Perfect. So here we have that's the one right there. So let's go to hit that drop down, um, add a meta tag. And what we want to do is come down to the third one. So the DNS text TXT. <clears throat> and then this is all you're gonna do. So I'm recording this for you. I'll send this to you tonight. But all you're gonna do in the future, if you ever need to integrate another domain is this right here. You're looking for the DNS text, and then you're going to come down to instruction number two, and you're going to copy, or you can simply just click that bold Facebook. Yeah, just click, and it will copy. That's all you want to do. Just copy it, <clears throat> and then let's bring that over to Bluehost. And then all we want to do here is let's go to, yeah, perfect. So right here, the text. So you have some text already there, um, but we can go ahead and add another one. I don't want to mess with those other ones, but let's just let's just add. Yeah, let's add a record. Let's add another one. So, txt, and then the the at sign. Yep, the at, and then paste in that value, and then fifteen minutes is fine, um, and then add. Okay, cool. And scroll down. Let's make sure all the other ones are at the at sign too, because sometimes it's www, but yeah, those, that other one, <clears throat> that other one's at, go ahead and refresh this page. Let, where's the Facebook one that we just added? Let me scroll down. It usually takes just a few minutes for it to look, show up in here. Okay. Yeah, it might, it might, yeah, it might just take a few minutes. So now go back to, go back to Facebook, the ad manager, and then all you're going to do is verify domain. So this part, this part will probably take a few, a few minutes as well. But once you click on verify, click, click it like fast 10 times. Like just keep clicking, 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 clicking. Yeah. See, so Bluehost is just a little slower, um, if anything, but normally a verify is pretty quick, but we'll come back to it. Um, we'll come back to it. And all we got to do is just verify that domain. And then at the very top, it says in red, not verified. Um, it'll go to green and it'll say it'll say verified. Once yeah, once it adds over here, it'll show up eventually. Yeah, it'll show up. Okay, cool. So that's what we really needed to do. Um, and then once you once you update the go high level side and you put this new domain, then you could take the you could take those those links and create custom audiences. But for training purposes, just so <clears throat> I don't waste your time today, <clears throat> let's. Let's go back to go high level and let me at least show you how to set these custom audiences up. Um, so again, you have your landing page and you have your thank you page. These are the two most important audiences, man. Um, and it's really your landing page that will eventually be the biggest audience. Because as you put out ads, whether it's an image ad, a video ad, as people click, you're going to have, and this, is, this applies to any business, any product, this is the internet as a whole. How many times do you click on shit and you don't proceed or you just don't purchase, but you clicked, right? You clicked and, and that ad or that post or whatever maybe might've caught your interest, that product or service might've caught your interest, but you, you didn't purchase, you didn't opt in, but, but you clicked, right? So, so the fact that you clicked, that's how all of us are. We're all clicking on shit, right? I'm surfing the internet all damn day, clicking on random shit. Right. Okay. So as people click and land on your landing page, that will eventually be your biggest audience. And so that's a very, very important audience that you want to continue to get in front of. So this is audience number one. Let's get that. Actually, this is the thank you veterans. Let's go to the, let's go to the opt-in one or the landing page. Where's the landing page? 
So click on click on this one, that link at the top. So all you want to do is copy. We don't need the HTTPS. Actually, you can get it from right here in the middle. Vivid.financial. Yeah, just copy everything except for the forward slash. That's all you need. So when it comes to custom audiences and custom conversions, which I'll, I'll show you the custom conversion, all you need is that part. You don't need the HTTPS. So copy that. And now we're going to go back to Facebook and we're going to create our first custom audience. So to the top left, go... Nice, dude. Hell yeah, bro. Verified. Perfect. Okay, cool. So we're 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 good. Now all you gotta do is is again update update the, the go high level side with that link and 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 you're good. Um so here the, the domain you want to connect assets. So go ahead and, and click on connected assets or assign assets. Assign click on assign assets. The domain you're tying it to your business page. So you're just telling Facebook, hey man, whenever I run ads. To this domain, the ad is coming from this business page. So go ahead and check that box right there next to your profile picture, right there in the middle, American Prudential. So check that box and then click on add. So all you're doing is just tying everything together, tying the domain to the business page. Done. That's it. Perfect. Cool. Okay, now we're going to um, click on the three lines in the top left. So if it's not for the bookmarks, if, you don't, if you're not always going to the bookmarks, all you're doing is always going to the three lines. Um, so three lines, and then let's go back to audiences. Okay, cool. So this will be our first custom audience here, um, and this will be the landing page. So hit the drop down in the top. Make sure we're in the right account. It'll be that top one. Perfect. Okay, cool. So now we have that. We have your landing page link copied. So all we're gonna do is hit the hit the blue button, create audience. And then we're going to come down to custom audiences and then we're going to we're going to go website. OK, so website and video. And then also in the future, too, man, um, actually, you're going you're taking people through a survey. So, yeah, taking them to your website or your landing page might be best because every now and then I'll have people test lead form um, I, and you can create forms. audience as well. What's that? Forms have never done good with like the the veterans leads. Like, yeah, yeah got a whole bunch of more leads when we ran forms. Mm -hmm. but. Like we got 60 leads, but the leads were not worth it compared to yeah. when I ran a landing page. Like they were a lot more responsive when I ran a landing page. They were a lot more there. Like we got 60 leads and I think out of 60, we sold a total of two of them. A lot of them were like, I never filled this out. Like it auto populated my information. Yeah, yeah. I, I would rather pay more money to run the <laughs> landing page mm -hmm. and have a better quality lead than pay let's say the same amount of money to get a bunch more leads that are going to be unresponsive. Mm -hmm. For sure. For sure. Hell yeah. Okay. So, so we'll stick to website. So go website and then next. Okay. Perfect. So now you see that the green dot, that's the source is coming from, which is the pixel. That's the source it's coming from. And then the events, all website visitors, you're going to click on that drop down, and you're going to come down to specific. So people who visited specific web pages, this one is specifically your landing page. Okay, so hit that one. The retention, the 30, max that out at 180. So Facebook will keep people who have landed on this page in this audience for 180 days. Okay, um, and then go ahead and paste in that link right there at the bottom. Yep, right there. Okay, perfect. So that's step one. That's step one. Step one is creating an audience around those who land on your landing page but never opt in. Okay. So th th again, this is specific because people that opt in, they landed on your landing page as well. Right. So you don't want, those are two different types of people. Trey clicked, landed on the landing page. David clicked, landed on the, on the landing page, but actually opted in. Technically we're both in this audience, but to filter out even further, this is how you do it. You click on exclude people. So we want to make this very, very specific. This is going to be an audience of those who who click, who landed on the landing page but never opted in. So to do that, click on exclude people right there below. Exclude people. Yep, click on that one. And then we're going to do the same. Well, not the same, but we're going to follow somewhat the same as we did as we did at the top. So events, come down to specific. Retention, 180. This one? Yep. Now... The link that you're going to paste in here is not the landing page. The link you're going to put in here is the actual thank you page. Okay. So they landed on the opt-in, but never landed here. Okay. So again, moving forward, as you drive traffic, as you guys run ads, and then go ahead and scroll down and give it a name. So we're going to just simply name it. 
Where do I name it? Yep. Keep going down lower. Audience name. So, so this is going to be, um, and and you're gonna you're gonna name your well well you already named your pages so what did you what did you name this campaign in, in high level veterans or what what do you got like under the page name, like what did you, there has to be some kind of, you named it yeah you named it or oh, actually you named it you named it vivid financial, um, but typically typically I'll name my pages like you have home thank you veterans benefits four hundred four. Like typically I'll, I'll name the campaign. So for example, it'd be veterans. Thank you page veterans benefits, veterans, 404 air veterans. Thank you. Veterans. Right. So, so veterans about Trey, right. So, so the campaign, the funnel is named, yeah, no right. So something like that, you know? So, so that's all you want to do is just, is just name your name, the funnel for sure. But then also that's going to help you name the the audience. So and a lot of it, a lot of it, and the reason like it hasn't been changed, I get what you're saying, mm -hmm. but uh, it's because, like I said, we're I'm trying to switch everything over to like this account here, mm -hmm. and we we've rebuilt like the whole website. Let me see here. So we have the whole new website to where this is all going to be, basically, mm -hmm. all the new all the new stuff and everything. Nice. All of the vivid financial I'm doing away with. I. Yeah be completely honest i just don't know how to work go high level super well to where i can undo all the vivid financial crap well really it's it's easy, it's as easy as just renaming it just just click on the three dots to the right and you should be able to just edit the name it, it's just it should be that basic like if you just click on edit now you could just name it something different um actually that takes you into into this part yeah um it takes me to this whole domain and everything and Really, I just gotta get on a on a call with Go High Level to help me figure it out. Cause like okay. this whole section right here is all linked to this domain. That's why like it's got that pop up. That's why my Go High Level pops up is that. Mm -hmm. So I just gotta I just gotta reset all of that stuff for now. Okay. Okay. So then, again, what we're doing here is really we're just using that domain just for training purposes. Yeah. Once you integrate the agency one, then then yeah, everything will will reflect yep. that. But but again, what we're doing here, and Leilani, as you just jumped on, watch go back to your full blown website. This is the power of what we're doing here. Um, go back to your to your website, the one that that tab that's open to the right, American Prudential. So so look, this is how this is how you just segment your 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 visitors. It's so freaking basic. As people even come here, that that link at the top, AP, um, APX agents, or how do you pronounce it? AP, what is it? AP, AP, yeah, APX agencies. As people come here, they click on they click on services, right? Come click on services. Look at that link; it changes, right? Forward slash services. That would be a whole new custom audience. So as people come to the website and just browse around, now you're going to track everything. So as people click on this forward slash ser services, I can have an ad going out. Hey, guys, this is Trey with freaking American Prudential. Hey, I noticed you clicked on our services and we're reading all about securing tomorrow, living today. Hey, let me tell you a little bit more about this page and why you're going to want to schedule a call right away. Right. So now I can start putting together little videos or little ads talking to people who actually clicked on random shit. Right. I'm not just talking to everybody anymore. Right. That's the power of audiences. Talk to the people who are actually clicking on your stuff. You clicked on that red shirt, but you didn't buy it. You're going to see an ad talking about that red shirt. Right. Right. They're not going to be showing you blue pants. You didn't click on the blue jeans. You clicked on the freaking red shirt. You'll see an ad from the red on the red shirt. That's all it is, man. It's just taking these, these basic links. So, so now let's go back to, so go back to, go back to, yeah, go back to the ads manager. So this right here, the audience name, let's just for whatever, let's just for training purposes, name it, name it veterans, 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 veterans landing page visitors, because that's that's what it is. Veterans landing page visitors, and then in parentheses, in parentheses only, they have only landed on this page. They did not go to the thank you page, okay? And then create audience. So again, as I was saying earlier, this right here, and then click on done. This right here will be one of your biggest audiences because you're driving traffic to this page. And that's why, that's why, and go ahead and X out to the top, right? Just so you can open this, this middle part back up. Yeah, perfect. So, so that's why, that's why, again, I, I keep mentioning, and I mentioned, you know, a few minutes ago, focus on one campaign, focus on one service, focus on one state even, 
Because as you start to spend money, you want to drive all freaking traffic to one freaking page. I want to make this audience so freaking big where there's thousands of people in this one audience. But at, and, and, and so as you start to spread yourself too thin, you'll have a shitload of audiences with, with, with only a little people in it. Right. And, 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 and I just rather pour everything all in on one man. And because that could be your biggest audience right there. People are going to be clicking. Majority of people are going to, are going to land. And, and there's going to be a large percentage of people that don't opt in. Right. And that applies to every business, every product, any service on the internet, we click on shit all day and we don't opt in or buy. And that's fine. That's typical. That's normal. Right. So, so that audience you want to continue to get in front of, um, that's that that's a powerful audience right there. So now let's do another audience. So we have our we have our landing page visitors only. Now what we want to do custom audience. Now what we want to do is we want to create an audience website. We want to create an audience of those who actually opted in. So that's going to be an audience of those who land on your thank you page, on your confirmation page. So the the 30 change that to 180 and then yeah, get the get the landing page or get the yeah, get the thank you page link. And that that would go, that would go in right there. Wait, so even if you're putting in like five thousand dollars into mm -hmm. each campaign, you would still rather have us focus on one kind of an audience, or focus on focusing on if you're putting like for example, like so let's say, let's say I'm person one and and your person and your person two, right? Person one, what I'm what I'm what I'm recommending is I'd put the five thousand into one product into promoting one product into promoting one funnel into promoting one state that 5000 is going into that one versus person 2 is going to take that 5000 and spread it amongst maybe four different products four different funnels maybe 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 that person spreading it around four different states and at the end of it here's what's going to happen at the end of it now, now for me to do that, I kind of really want to know if I'm person one, I kind of want to already know that this is my product. This is my state. I kind of already want to know that because here's what's going to happen at the end of the, at the end of it all with, with person number two, at the end of your $5,000 budget, you targeted the entire, let's start, let's say you just targeted four states and let's say you were running four different campaigns, four different products, four different funnels. At the end of it, there's only going to be one winner. Like there's only going to be one product that really crushed it. There's only going to be one state that really crushed it. So you're going to end up spending your 5000 the majority of that would have went to all these other states spent on all these other funnels and products and services when really only one of them performed. And really only one of them actually gave us the biggest return. So I'm just saying, and, 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 and as you grow, as you scale, then you could test different markets, different funnels and different products and services. But, but all I'm saying in the very beginning, don't spread mm -hmm. yourself too thin. Like learn this shit first, right? Learn it, convert bring some paying clients in first and then maybe open up another state and then maybe market another product. Then maybe go and create another funnel. I just okay. don't want you to spread yourself too thin, right? Because, because what's going to end up happening at the end of it as well is I'm person one. I'm going to have all my 5,000 into these two audiences. I'm going to have the biggest audiences, these two landing page visitors. Thank you. Page visitors. My whole 5,000 went into that big audience. Your 5,000 or person two would have went into four, let's call it four different ones. And all those ones are going to be small. They're not going to be so big because, because it was spread out. It was spread out. Right. And, and, and again, it, it comes, and I don't want to, well, it goes both ways for men and women, but, but Trey, just think of it this way, bro. Like man, to man talk, bro, let's keep it real. In high school, I was dating, you were dating many different chicks. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe, maybe I'm just, I'm, I'm actually stereotyping you right now. But let's talk about me. In high school, I was dating a ton of different chicks. At the end of my senior year, there was only one girl that really stood with me. These other chicks didn't mean shit. That's how it is, dude. That's how advertising it is. It's like, dude, why did I spend money, ninth grade, 10th grade, 11th grade? Why did I spend money on all these damn random chicks when it was only this girl that I should have went all in on from the beginning? Does that kind of make sense a little bit? Are you there? Yeah. Right. Does that kind of make sense where it's like at the end of the day, and even with you, Leilani, it's the same thing. Like, why did I date all these freaking assholes when only one guy, that one guy stood by me? He was freaking my ride or die. That guy is still here to this day. He freaking loves me with his entire freaking heart. And these other assholes didn't deserve a minute of my time. Why did I waste my time with them?
It's kind of the same thing. And, and because in this case, we're now spending money. So it's like, why do I want to spread my why do I want to spread my money so thin when I could just go after this one market? Right. And 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 that's why I tell people again all the time where it's like, dude, you don't need everyone. So as big as you guys may be thinking, let's conquer the country, let's freaking market all these damn services. You really don't. You really just need to narrow it in and focus in on, on one niche. Um, and 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 as you grow, yeah, maybe spread yourself out. But but I'm telling you, even today, man, the, the best marketers, the biggest people on the internet today, they're not talking to everyone at all. Like at all at all. We all have a niche. We're all focused in on one service, one product, one funnel, one niche, one market. And 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 that's that whole saying where the riches are in the niches. The moment you can niche down and find that one funnel, find that one product, find that one market, that's when you crush it. It's not by trying to go after everybody. Okay, so, so, so I think the next question is about one state. Mm -hmm. None of us advertise by by one state, especially within insurance, because mm -hmm. lead cost goes up like 10 times the amount of rather than picking like five states that we know are really he like heavy veteran populated. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, like that's what we would have to do. Or like people who are often looking for final expense will target all those specific states that we see there is a high amount of people searching in these states for it. Yeah. So um what's your opinion on on that? Just just because mm -hmm. out of testing it ourselves and like also knowing a bunch of other people that kind of do the same thing, running it in one state has never worked out for any of us. And it could be how we're running it, right? But it's just never worked out. It's 100% how you how how anyone's running it. None of this shit was ever set up. Okay. They never set up their custom audiences. They didn't have their pixel installed correctly. They don't have a custom conversion. They don't. They're not focused on one on one product. Like they're just. They're just. And and here's and here, here's what I'm trying to explain. At the end of that run for whoever for them. At the end of it, all I'm all I'm convinced on, is that there's really only one winner as well. It's not like you. It's not like a person crushes it in every single state. No, they don't. Not at all. Like okay, maybe some business came from here. Maybe some business came from there. Maybe some came from over here. But at the end, there's one winner. The majority of the business came from this state. The majority of our biz of our revenue came from this one product. Yes, some came from the other products. Yes, some came from the other states. Had we dumped all of our money into this one, we probably would have crushed it way way sooner. You know, but it, but again, at the same time, long story short, if you guys have the budget, then shit, you could market wherever the hell you want. Most don't. Like most don't. And 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 I'm willing to even bet that once we even start getting run, ads ran and and you're not seeing the, the the leads come in as much as you're you're kind of hoping for or expect expect or ex expecting, you will be hitting me up. You will be saying, David, what the hell is going on? Because that's just how it is. Like you got it. You got to focus it on one, and then and then you can scale out. You know. But so 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 let, let so even if you guys do have the budget, all, all I'm saying is is try maybe try both. Try what I'm saying, recommending where I'm saying go all in on one. And then and then maybe have have other things on on the back end running as well and and see and see you know where your business is really coming from, but but again in the very very beginning all I want you to do is really learn the skill like learn this mm -hmm. learn how to put together these custom audiences, um, learn how to put together these custom conversion which we're gonna get to next and then and then yeah man if you want to market to fifty states then then go right ahead, um, go right ahead, that's just gonna yeah that's just gonna take more budget and it's gonna take more more time building funnels. Um, actually, maybe you can run everything to this one funnel. You could, yeah, you could maybe run everything to one funnel for sure, which is what I recommend. So, so even if you are running it to multiple states and, 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 and all that, here's what I do, what I highly suggest still focus in on this one funnel. So, so because this one funnel, I can run it to any state. The moment you go and build other funnels, that's when you're really spreading yourself too thin. Then you got to do the same thing with every link for this other funnel and 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 you just have all these custom audiences and they're all different links and they're all small audiences because you're spreading your money too thin. I'd rather just have one link being tracked and one huge audience where people are really starting to get to know our brand. You know, so 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 you could you could you could do both, but but at the same time unless you really know that these competitors set up all this shit, you're really just assuming Unless you really know what they're actually even spending, you're really just assuming. 
So, so it all, it, it comes down to that. It just comes down to setting up the shit the right way. And then, and then, and then also, cause I have a client happens to be, he, he's in the retirement business. He's actually on, he's coming on next after, after, after you guys, I got to take him to the, all this as well. He, he's in the, he's in the retirement. So he focuses on 55 and older retirement, right? He has some retirement plan or whatever. All he's worried about is competitors. I'm telling you guys, stop worrying about your competitors because you don't even know what the hell they're really doing. And unless you do, you just assume they're doing Facebook ads, but but you don't know any of this stuff that's that 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 they may have set up or may not. You know, so at the end of it, this this will apply to any any strategy you take. Just just try to really take in the, try to learn this first. Try to learn, and all we're doing here is custom audiences, tracking the links. Um, so I'll show you how to do this this link, and then it, again, if you have five other links, five different campaigns, and then, then you'll just you'll just do the same thing. And 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 you'll 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 quickly realize where it's like shit, man. This is kind of overwhelming, you know. That's why I say focus on one, focus on one. So so this right here, this is your thank you page. So the audience name. Let's let's come down to the audience name. This is exactly what we named the landing page, veterans. And then and then, um, yeah. What did you what did you you named it veterans something veterans? Actually, if you X out then everything, yeah, vet yeah. So veterans. Okay. Veterans thank you page visitors. Yeah, vet veterans thank you page uh, visitors. And then you could put you could put only as well. And, and you don't need it. You don't need to exclude any any link uh, just yet. Um, this this will be this will be enough right here. So create audience, those two audiences, you guys. And that's why, again, as I mentioned earlier, Trey, any business, man, majority, not any, but majority, 99.9% of small business owners that are trying to build something online, those are the only two pages one needs, man. One doesn't need a full-blown website at all. It's two freaking pages. Thank you page, landing page. That's it. Running ads to the, to the, to the landing page and tracking it all. That's it, dude. And so moving forward, the landing page visitors only, that will be an audience that you'll always retarget, right? You'll always retarget that audience. So as you set up ad number three, ad number four and on, you'll always want to retarget your landing page visitors only. Those are people who saw previous ads, clicked on it, but didn't opt in. And then also moving, moving forward, ad three and on, ad two and on, what you'll always do is also exclude the the thank you page visitors, right? You're going to exclude that audience from seeing future ads. People that opted in, filled out the survey, landed on the thank you page, those people do not need to see your ads anymore. Exclude them, right? So so again, it's it's these basics, Leilani, that that most don't ever set up. So they're spending way more than they need to. They're showing their ads to people who've already purchased that red dress. It's like, dude, I, I purchased the red dress yesterday. Why do I keep seeing ads on the red dress? Right? That's all this is, is just now categorizing your visitors and those that are engaging. And then you'll do the same thing with video. So 99% so of the time, you're creating audiences around your web links, your website links, and video. And, that, and, that's, and that's really it. As far as custom audiences, um, click on the blue one again. This is what I was explaining to Trey earlier. All the different audiences. Um, yeah, custom audiences. These are all different audiences that you can create, right? Um, it just depends on on how how much you know the people who are following you. So, so for example, a lot of times people will have big Instagram accounts or big Facebook pages. Right now, your, your Facebook business page is really blowing up, right, because of the like ad. But I don't want to go create a Facebook page audience around that and show them my next ad because of the majority of the people in fact all the people who are liking the page don't even live in the area most of them don't even live in the damn country so to create an audience around my facebook page and show them my future ads is a complete waste of money and and the same thing could could apply for the instagram account you could have 10 15 you could have a hundred thousand followers on ig but if those people are not in my ideal market, why do I want to create an audience and show them ads? Right? Unless you unless you do, unless you do, right? Now, now in your case, Trey mentioned you guys can really operate in the entire country. So creating a, an audience. In fact, let's do that. Create an, an Instagram account audience just for the hell of it. 
Great. Click on Instagram account. So next, so here, and then hit the hit that that's the source, the AP, the AP Xennial. That's the Instagram account. And then events. Here's all the different uh, data points. So I can create an audience around those who started following um, everyone who engaged anyone who visited. Right. So that's why the majority of the time, most of my clients are local business owners, but they have huge Instagram accounts. And that's why we normally don't do this because, again, I don't want to show ads to people that are not in my area, right? So, but in, but in your case, again, if you can market nationwide and you start building out that IG account, then 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 you can start, you know, testing this audience and showing them ads as well. So pick any of these. You could pick any of them. Um, maybe people who who just visited anyone who visited the account. So you come to my account just out of curiosity. Boom, you're going to see another ad, or you're going to see an ad. Right. That's how that's how simple it is. And and the retention that can go up to 365 when it when it comes to the IG and when it comes to video. Now it's no longer 180. You can, Facebook will keep people in this audience for 365 days or you can you can lower that down to 30 days. You can always play with the 365, but leaving it leaving at 365, that's that's not a bad idea. Um, so if you visited my page freaking four months ago, you're going to see my next ad. If I'm retargeting this audience. Right. So you get to choose. You get to pick and choose who you want to target. Just because I have all these audiences, I don't have to target any of them if I don't want to. But but this is where the power is at, is, is when you are retargeting these audiences. So audience name, just name it. Freaking AP Xennial IG account. You know, that that's 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 all this is. Um so this is all everyone's doing you guys when when you're surfing online and you're clicking on different websites and you're trying to purchase yeah click on the blue one and and you leave that website and you don't pick up that 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 handbag after all leilani and then you come back on a social media and you see an ad from freaking that company that's all this is they just track the fact that you landed on a very specific link and now they're able to talk to you about that product that's all it is that's all it is so so in your case this is what you want to, this, this is all you want to focus on. This is where the magic's at. It's just, it's just, you want to eventually have hundreds of audiences, really. Um, maybe not hundreds of audiences, but it just depends on how many, how many products you get, products you guys are trying to roll out, how many states you're trying to roll out. Um, and that's the thing. Like, that's why I'm trying to, trying to convince you not, especially in the beginning, not to spread yourself so thin because how, like, unless, unless you, when you're putting out your ad, you're just speaking to the veteran, right? So I guess I guess that that's pretty general. I'm just speaking to the veteran. I'm not really specifying a state or or an area. Um so yeah, it could it could it could work out with it could work out where where maybe you guys don't have to build a ton of audiences. Um because everything is veteran. Because normally normally you'd want to split it all up. Like I'd have I'd have a, an audience for just Utah. I'd have an audience for California. I'd have an audience for Virginia. Right. So, but if you're not in your advertising, if you're not talking specifically to that state or area, then I guess it, it wouldn't matter. Um, like again, in it being a local business owner, I always teach call out that city. Like I'm out here in San Diego. So if I was a real estate agent, I'd pull out my phone. I, the way I'd be, the way we'd be, we, the way we do ads is, hey guys, this is David out here in San Diego. Are you a homeowner who lives in Chula Vista, California and are sick and tired of? Right. So so in my messaging, I'm able to talk to that area. And that's what really brings it in. But but you guys are specifically talking to veterans. So that 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 should be enough. You know, calling out a veteran no matter where they're at, that that should that should be good enough. You don't necessarily have to have to call out the state or the city. So those are your audiences. And do you have you don't have any videos on on that Facebook page, right? No videos on there yet? No, nope, not yet. Okay. So that that'd be your next audience. So website website and go back to hit the blue button again custom audiences website and video that's really what you want to really what you really want to focus on building custom audiences around around those two and the video go ahead and click on video let me show you this part real quick um and then engagement these are all the different timestamps. so as you go to as you go to facebook as you go to instagram and you see a one minute video I could track those who watch three seconds of it, 10 seconds. Normally what I do pretty much every time is create audiences around 15 seconds, right? So, so I'll put out a one minute video, maybe a minute and a half video, 
And if you watched at least 15 seconds of that video, you're going to be in this audience. Right. And so, so building up a ton of custom audiences around video is so powerful, man. So, so powerful. Um, and YouTube happens to be just organic um, video. Like, because you watched one of my last YouTube videos, Trey, or, or that video that you watched a couple weeks ago, whenever it was, you go back to your newsfeed right now, bro. Watch, test, test it, test it just for the hell of it. Go to your, go, go onto your phone, go to YouTube and just, and just scroll through, scroll through the home or the newsfeed of YouTube or, or whatever. You'll see another one of my videos because I'm in your history and you've, unless you, unless you took it out of your history, I take shit out of my history. Not, not everyone does at all, at all, at all, at all. So on YouTube organic, if you watched one of my previous videos, you'll come back on a YouTube and you will see a previous video of mine. You might see the newest video. You might see a two-year-old video, but my video will be somewhere in that freaking news video, guys. That's organic YouTube. That's why YouTube is so damn powerful when it comes to video. But Facebook's not like that. Instagram's not like that. TikTok, LinkedIn, no other platform is like that. If you're on the Facebook news feed, and you're scrolling through and you see a video of mine because I posted it organically this morning. You just saw it in the news feed. You come back later on. It's not there. You come back tomorrow. It's not there. You come back three days in your news feed and just scroll through, see what your friends are up to. My video is not there no more. Not at all. Not at all at all. So you too, that's why I tell people a lot as well, is if you're going to be putting out video, which is what I'm recommending, start branding your freaking face. Put your brand out there. As you start putting out video for advertising, I also highly recommend is putting that same video up on YouTube. Build a YouTube channel as well. That's what I and and that's why I, why I tell my clients really to to spend the majority of their of their social media efforts and 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 social media advertising marketing efforts on is building out their Facebook advertising and building out their YouTube channel. You don't need any of these other platforms, man. In my professional opinion, in my professional opinion, it's all about running ads and it's all about building a, a YouTube channel. I truly believe that. I truly, truly believe that. And and if again, if you already have the video that you put out over here, you might as well just upload it to YouTube as well. You know, because in the future, the trades will find you on YouTube. You know, so so 15 seconds is is, is typically what, what I would do, you guys, but you don't have a video, so so we can't really fully go through this part. And that's fine. We'll, we'll do it. We'll do it later. But that's what you'll be doing. It's, it's really, really 15 seconds. And then and then a lot of times I'll get questions like, well, David, why don't we just create audiences around 95% or even 75%? If I put out a one minute video, why don't I want an audience of those who watch the whole damn thing? 95% of it. You could for sure do that, but that's going to be a small ass audience. Majority of people are not watching the entire video at all. At all at all. And we don't need them to. So so if you can just dumb it down and, and bring it down a little bit, 15 seconds, maybe, maybe 25%, that audience will be bigger than 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 anything else. Does that kind of make sense? Yeah. It makes sense. Yeah. So so that's that's really it, you guys, is is as far as the custom audiences, it's website audiences, video audiences, and and you guys, you guys can crush it. You guys can crush it, crush it. Which is which is tracking tracking those. Okay, so Wait, any, uh, yeah, go for it. I was gonna say, I I know I wasn't here for the first twenty five minutes, but have you gone through like setting up the the pixels and all that? We could do that next for sure, right? All we're doing doing now is is creating custom audiences. So you actually didn't come late at all. Um, we just got done with creating custom audiences. Custom audiences around the links, and then and then video eventually when you guys start doing doing video. So gotcha. but we, could, we could definitely jump into the pixel right now. So any questions on custom audiences at all? Mm, not not so far. Uh, we will eventually be adding a bunch of more uh, campaigns on here. Obviously, for like the first week or two, it's probably just going to be this. But like we have ACA that we need to run. We have um, mortgage protection and normal FEX we need to run. So mm -hmm. this is where we would go to create all of that. And now when we actually build out the ad, we have to click that button of, custom audiences and we come in here and then we click it to attach it to that specific ad is that what we do well first first whatever funnel whatever whatever website whatever page that campaign is on mm -hmm. this is what you do first you just simply take the link and create a custom audience 
So in that part, Leilani, so like uh -huh. what we did is I came in here, copied this. So like for instance, right here, what we do for let's say ACA, uh -huh. obviously once we build that out, we'll have like the ACA landing page, X, Y, and Z to where they fill it out and we have all of that. And then we would go in there, copy the link, come into here, create audience, paste it in there, and then it'll start tracking. So for instance, it would be like Trey, ACA, visitors only, same exact thing that we did here for mm -hmm. the thank you page. And then it would track that. And then people that completed it all, and it would track that. That's that's step one. And then step two, as you go into the ad, Leilani, so hit the three mm -hmm. lines to the left and go to, go to your ads manager. Now, because we have the audience set up now, now this is where we would actually segment it. This is where we would pick and choose which audiences do we want to retarget, which audiences do we want to exclude. This is where you would do it. So hit the hit the green create. We'll just go through the, through the first or the yeah the first two steps. So let's say we okay. go let's say we go leads, go leads, and then hit continue, and then here go manual manual leads campaign, and then continue. So after we get to the campaign step here, the categories. So you can just scroll down and click on click on uh, the the button at the bottom. Just hit that. I can't see it. What does it say? Publish or continue at the bottom right, very very bottom. Just go to the next step. Yeah, bottom right. Yeah, right here. So it's right here. Click on website. So not instant forms. Go to website. So it's right here. Now look. Now as you come to the ad set level, this is where you would you would retarget or not. So scroll mm -hmm. down. Scroll down. So right down. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. It's right. Where's your audience? Right here. Okay. So now click on click on show more options. Okay. So here search existing audiences. So if you click in there, you'll now see your new audiences. Oh, wow. Okay. So as I move forward again, we could be on ad number four. If I'm on ad number four, I'm going to retarget. Actually, well, let's, let's just call it ad number two. Ad number two, I ran ad number one. Maybe, maybe a shitload of leads didn't come in like we expected. No big deal. But a bunch of people clicked and a bunch of people are now in the landing page visitors only. So if I'm on ad number two, Landing page visitors only. Click on that one, Trey. So now ad number two, I'm retargeting everyone who clicked on the last one. So if you clicked on my last ad, ad number one, I'm on ad number two now. So as I'm running ad number two, I'm going to retarget everyone who, who clicked on ad number one. If ad, number one cool. if ad number one was a video and I tracked 15 seconds, you would have also saw it there. I would have retargeted that one too. So I'll, so I'm going to put as many audiences in in there as possible, and it's really only two website visitors and a shitload of videos. But it just depends on where you're at in the ads. If I'm on ad number seven, imagine this: I'm on ad number seven. I'm retargeting landing page visitors only, and I now have six video audiences that I would put up in there. Can you imagine the branding? People are going to be seeing you over and over and over and over. And why are they seeing me? Because you watched my last shit, bro. Don't get mad. You're the one that watched my damn video. Don't get mad because you're seeing me again. You're the one that clicked on my website. That's why it blows my mind when people are like, oh, this shit, this privacy, Facebook is freaking the devil. They're showing me ads and blah, blah. It's like, bro, you clicked on that shit. Don't be clicking on random ass shit. You won't see random ass ads. <laughs> right? So it's like, it's like, that's how simple this stuff is. It's like Facebook or, or all these damn platforms, they're not doing anything crazy. They just happen to have the technology for advertisers like us to track it. And, and it's amazing because I only want to show my shit to people that engage in the first place. If you saw my video, you're going to see my next one. If you clicked on my website, you're going to see my next ad. Right? And, 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 and so now here, here's what you want to do too. So click away. So, so I'd be retargeting all the audiences. My video, really, it's really video. And, and it's really only landing page visitors only. And then maybe we're on ad number seven. It'd be six videos in there as well. Because that's video number one, 15 seconds. Video number two, three, four, five, 15 seconds. So imagine that. All these people that watched the first five video ads, they're now seeing ad number six. I'm retargeting everyone, right? And then also what we'll do is, where is the... um. Click on exclude this. Scroll back up real quick. So this you're in the exclude. Where's the um? Why does yours look a little different? It'd be it'd be a little lower. It'd be lower. It'd be right here where the exclude is. But 
click on click on that advantage click on the switch to original switch to original audience yeah down switch to original audience options click on that one use advantage plus actually use original yeah use i'm sorry use original okay now scroll down so the audience okay this is what it is okay so i don't know what's up with that new format dude because that new format did not show scroll back up so you're in the exclude no that down the audience is down down right here right here right here right here right here that new format, whatever the hell that layout was, only showed exclude. It didn't show the top one, which is include. That's where we wanted the landing page visitors. So we wanted the, the landing page So type it in there or just click. Landing page visitors go, goes at the top. Click on it, landing page visitors. Exclude, click away. Exclude would be the thank you page. So moving forward, ad number two and on, the moment you start capturing leads really, you're excluding the thank you page visitors. You're including the landing page visitors. And you're also including every video that you put out as well. So if I'm on, on ad number seven, there should be six. And even if it's, yeah, I mean, even if you're not going to go, even if you're not going to go um, video, you could still create ads around engagement. So if, so if you put out an image ad, it'd be the same thing. I would include those who engaged with this post. I'll show you that later when we when we just so if you just put out what I'm talking this entire time are web website audiences, landing page audiences, and video audiences. But what I'll show you, what I'll show you eventually is just simply engagement audiences. Those are for people who who run image ads. So if you're gonna just run an image ad, cool, no big deal. But you'll create an audience around that image. You'll create an audience around that post, actually. And then that would that would go at the top include. So so it's include exclude. Right. Um, that's that's that part. So that's where that would go. Leilani is 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 right there. Um, now, let's say, for example. So X out of them, the, the include and exclude X out of those just um, to the right, hover over it and then just just exit out. No, down right here, right here, right here. Just yeah, just hover over veteran. Thank you, page visitors and just exit out. OK, do the same at the top. OK, let's say, for example, include include click on include click inside that box. Come down to, to come down to, to the thank you page. Thank you page visitors. Let's say let's say I want to target those who actually opted in. They filled out the survey. They landed on the they landed on the thank you page, but they haven't scheduled a call, or maybe I haven't got a hold of them. That could be an ad right there. Hey guys, this is Trey with American Prudential. Hey, I noticed you guys filled out our survey last week and got through the questionnaire. Um, but for whatever reason, you haven't scheduled a call. Let me go over what we go. Well, let me let me talk to you about what we go over on these strategy calls and why you're going to want to schedule a call now. Now I could talk to that freaking audience, dude, and 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 blow their mind, right? So all this is, you guys, is really narrowing in your messaging to the people who actually are visiting certain pages within your website talk to the people man just don't talk to everybody start talking to people that actually go through your shit right you watch my video i'm going to talk to you you landed on this page i'm going to talk to you you clicked on that red handbag but you didn't purchase i'm going to talk to you that's all this is right so so that's why if you try to spread yourself too thin it becomes overwhelming you forget about who the hell you've been talking to you know, but but in your case, I think I I don't think it's gonna happen with you guys because you guys should be good because you're only talking to veterans and and it doesn't even matter where the hell they're at. It's a veteran, right? So as long as I'm talking to the veteran, it it it, it yeah, you guys should you guys should be be good regardless. So so that's custom audiences, you guys. Um, and again, don't expect to learn this right this second. Like you'll eventually grow and build this out even further, and and it'll it'll make even more sense. Any questions okay. whatsoever? Not on this, no. Okay, awesome.